Scientific American still publishes today, but most people may not be aware it actually goes back to 1845. I have in my hands a volume for the first half of 1878, containing each of uh, the, the weekly issues publishing at that time. Keeping in mind that 1878 was when Edison was doing much of his work. The telephone uh, was just two years old at that time, uh, done by Alexander Graham Bell. And there are many illustrations in this uh, magazine, uh, some of them absolutely goofy. I'm looking at one here which shows a man's new version of a fire escape, which looks nothing more than uh, a wagon with a funnel device at the top. So you jump in and get close to the hole and you funnel yourself down into the into the wagon. Look at this, asbestos. That's uh, a word we don't like to use anymore today, but back then it's quite quite common. Ice machine. Don't need those much today with refrigerators in everyone's home. Steam pumps. We get many requests uh, for looking for certain events, obviously, anything about Edison or perhaps Alexander Graham Bell or any of the major inventions of the time, and uh, we can come up with the date of the issue that has that content. Advertisements uh, can be intriguing as well, and many of them were illustrated. Uh, a lot of ads for patent medicines can be found here to cure all kinds of cancer and baldness or whatever ailed you at the time. We always have inventory coming into stock, so something that we may not have at a given moment, maybe a couple months later we'll have it. But uh, we don't charge a research fee, and uh, I think you'll be surprised at how quickly we're able to find the newspaper that has the event you're looking for.